Hello all my Annabelle friends, it's Hilary here and I have another book for us today. This one is called Wednesday is Spaghetti Day and this book was written by Marianne Coca Leffler and we will get started. Now I wanted to show you on the front page, before the book even starts, there's a question here and it says, do you ever wonder what your pet cats do when you leave them home alone? Hmm. And if you don't have a pet cat, do you have a pet dog? And what happens when you leave the pet puppies at home alone? Hmm. Let's see what happens. It was Wednesday, and for the Tremont family, it was just another day. But for the cat, Katrina, it was not a regular day at all. Katrina paced impatiently while everyone ate breakfast. No one could be late today, for today was Wednesday, and Wednesday is Spaghetti Day. And all of Katrina's cat friends were coming for lunch. And the little girl says, Poor kitty, home all alone again. And Katrina, the cat, says, Finally! As Katrina cleaned up after breakfast, her friends began to arrive. The kids will be home at three o'clock, she warned, so the cats got right to work preparing lunch. Look, they brought some bread and some flowers. She's got some tomatoes here, some oil, some Parmesan cheese. I think that's some meatball. And there's the pasta, there's the spaghetti. As Scruffy made the salad and Ruby set the table, Freckles dashed in, slamming the door behind him. Sorry I'm late, Freckles said. The kids made me play house with them again. Oh dear, there's Scruffy making the salad and Freck and sorry, Ruby is making the table and there's Freckles in a bonnet, a little hat and little socks. Poor little guy all dressed up. Freckles quickly took off his bonnet and booties and got to work. The cats continued cooking. There are the meatballs covered in sauce. Uh-oh, slipping on the spaghetti. And soon their long-awaited Italian lunch was ready. Ooh, that looks good. That reminds me of Seamus spaghetti. They sang and danced and toasted each other. Cheers! It was wonderful. None of the cats could remember having such a feast. But just as they were about to eat their spumoni ice cream, the clock struck three and a school bus pulled up to the corner. <gasps> uh oh. Look, the cat throws the tablecloth, food goes everywhere. And the kids are walking down the sidewalk. Uh oh. Remember, whispered Ruby, it it's my house tomorrow for Mexican food. And look, do you see what's happening there? There's the kitty cats dressed in the tablecloth and the dishes inside. And there are the kids. And they didn't notice. Oh my goodness. And there's the cat, Katrina. And she's just, oh, 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 they didn't notice. That's so funny. When the kids returned, it was just like any other day. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Katrina walked away, fluffing her tail. No cat food for me, she thought. Tomorrow is another day. And that's the end of the story, friends. I hope you enjoyed that. And it reminds me of our spaghetti lunches at school when Shema made them. I'm so excited to go back to school and have those, hopefully, very, very soon. All right, I hope you're all well. We'll see you soon.